All right guys, so on my workbench is the brand new Axel Capra, the 1.9 trail buggy. This is my favorite RC release this year and this Ultra RC video is gonna be all about this thing. So let's crack right into it. So here is the box for the Axle Capra. You can see that it's a pretty small box. It is a good box, but it's a small box. That's because it's a kit and you're going to have to build it yourself. So you're going to have to get all your electronics and tyres separately, which does make it a bit more expensive, but you really get to make it your own and find out how this thing works. I think that's absolutely great. But who wants to look at the box? Let's just quickly put it together with a bit of... All right, guys, so there we go. I built it all up. Now, if you did miss how I assembled that, because I did it pretty quickly, there's a build montage at the end of the video, so make sure you watch till the very end. But basically, this thing is absolutely awesome. I absolutely love it. It's a great build. It's got some really great features. And I'm going to talk a bit about the features. Then we're going to take it outside. I'm going to show you what it can do. And um, it's going to be super awesome. I've been very keen from the beginning. I was watching all the teaser videos. I'll show you what I mean. First of all guys, I want to go through all the features that this car has and then I'll talk about the electronics that I've put in this to make it my own because it is a kit and then I'll take it outside, I'll show you what it can do and then we'll have a build video and it's going to be great. So let's crack right into it. So basically the main features are the portal axles and the dig transmission. The portal axles give you extra ground clearance by raising your axles up. only do the portal axles give you extra ground clearance but they also stop torque twist completely that's because the the drive shaft inside the axle here is spinning the opposite direction to what normally would because it has two gears at the end so what that means is because it's got lots of suspension here normally because the motor's inside the chassis here the drive shaft spinning the opposite direction and because the suspension is softer than the grip of the tires your wheels will grip and lift up like this or your body will sag to one side which is Torque twist is basically not a good thing, and the portal axles get rid of that. So with the dig transmission, you can disconnect the rear axle from your drive shaft, so you can roll and you're basically front wheel drive. Or you can lock it, which means you've got a brake, handbrake on the rear axle. And what that allows you to do is have a much sharper turning circle. Now it does have 45 degrees of turning already, and it, which is all you need but really it's great that it comes with that extra feature now it's not really necessary because I'm going to be using this as more of a trail truck but for actual proper crawling that's a great feature and it's awesome that it comes with that so like I said the axle Capra has 45 degrees steering with the universal joints it's got six millimeter stainless steel links it's got better plastic rod ends they're made in the lossy factory and they are also equipped with stainless steel balls. The drive shafts, as you can see, have got a great low angle. With the old SCX10s, they used to be like that, which caused a lot more friction and wear on the drive shafts. You can see that the ground clearance is exceptional. We've got big bore aluminium shocks, which do have a screw on the bottom to stop the cap from coming off. They are adjustable, full aluminium, and they have a bleed screw for adjusting the Axle Capra does come with two sets of springs. You've got a hard set and a soft set. I put the soft in the front and the hard in the rear. So the battery goes in the front. We've got two pins that pull out the side. You lift it up and inside there you can put a LiPo battery. It does take a little shorty pack. So I'm running a 1300 milliamp 3 cell, an E-Flight one. That's working great. Now though the little battery doesn't last as long, it's very easy to access so that's a great feature. It comes with an included light bar in there so you can go all day and night and on the front you've got two light buckets which you can put LEDs in. On the back we've got a fuel cell which is a receiver box, that's a great feature. I love having somewhere to put the receiver. Sometimes there's no one you're like, well, you know, that's kind of inconvenient. Now it does come with these plastic beadlock wheels, I think that's a great addition. It doesn't come with tyres, I put the Hyrax tyres on. And talking about other things that I've put on this, I've got a MAMB X ESC. Got a Tekken Redline brushless sensored motor in there. Basically, guys, this is a very well thought out vehicle. You know, the reliability of this is going to be absolutely great. I love knowing you're never going to break it, it's always going to be there when you need it. You can just go whenever you want, drive as much as you need. You know, it's just really reliable, strong, well thought out car. 
The build was very, very easy. There'll be more on this at the end. You know, you can see the whole process, but really there was no problems at all. It was very easy. The bags were labeled one at a time. You worked your way up. You You know, you did the axles, the drive shafts, the links, the shocks, all separate bags, work your way together, and at the end you piece it all up, and you've got a very reliable, strong car. I can imagine in a few years this is still going to be going very, very strong. I think you get the picture that I absolutely love this thing. Let's take it outside and I'll show you what it can do. So you can see that this thing is a whole new level. The capabilities it has is absolutely amazing with the portal axles. And um, multiple times I thought, I wonder if it can get up that. And yep, of course it can get up that. It's a whole new level. And, ah. You know, for me guys, if I can only have one Remega Troll car, this would be the one, you know, just super reliable. It is a crawler, you know, but really I think it's got, it could, it's gonna be more capable than that. As far as the price, this thing isn't the cheapest considering you have to buy all the electronics and tires separately. You know, but really, you can only drive one remote control car at a time. And if you have to drive one, I'll definitely drive this thing. So that makes it worth it. And if you wanna know how I built this, let's roll the montage now.
All right, guys, so that was the awesome montage of how I built this awesome Capra. If you like this awesome Ultra RC video, there's lots of other videos on my channel, so please consider checking them out. There's gonna be more on this thing as well, so definitely subscribe and notifications so you don't miss that. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. I'm interested to hear what you think about this thing, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you around later.